Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, I'm going to be talking about our group's front and capstone project. Uh, for the project, we decided to work on SoundCloud, uh, more specifically the player page. And, and the component that I chose to work on was the comment section. Uh, the comment section was actually a really good learning experience, just in general, like for CSS techniques and a lot of just front end, like front -end techniques as well. Uh, one of the big issues, or I guess, that I ran into was with the replies of the comment section. Uh, the comment section always has the username of the user that you're replying to at the very bottom with the input. And this to me was just really weird because I, I didn't know if I wanted to just have the username already inside the input or how to render it in general. And just seeing how SoundCloud did theirs is, was a really like big eye-opening thing to see how to like make effective components that just look really well and give like a good user experience in general. Uh, the way that SoundCloud did it and I also did it as well was rendering another element right next to the input and whenever the user was at the very end of the input and pressed backspace once it would highlight the username and then another backspace would just delete the element which was really cool in, in my mind at least. Uh, it gave a really good user experience uh, one of the other things that I saw, or one of the other things that I ran into while working on the component was the loader of SoundCloud. It's just always at the bottom, just loading more things, but I don't know, it's, it's a really basic component, but the logic that went behind it to make it look really well and always be reliable was interesting to me. Um, the way that SoundCloud did it, and I, I also found a way to do was to just always have the loader at the bottom of the page. Uh, even though we don't see it, it's just always there to know, like, when whenever it, it's reached at the bottom, it just knows to make an API call to get more comments. Uh, if, you can, if I can get there fast enough, you can see it. And it'll just appear until I get to the very bottom, until I ran out of comments. Uh, it was really cool just having the logic there to, like, track whenever you're at the bottom of the screen to know hey, I'm going to get more comments, show them, and then push everything down. Uh, and I guess one of the one of the final things that I guess was that was really cool to see and to work on with SoundCloud with this component was uh, the actual comments, the API call to the comments. Uh, getting the comments effectively and just keeping the app in general fast was really cool. Uh, the way that I achieved it at least was having an API call at the bottom of the of each call, I guess, that would reference another API call. Uh, so when I first render the page, it's just going to make a basic API call that it that's always going to be the same. That's going to render the first twenty comments in, uh, new, I guess, by date. And that would just at the end of, at the end of that call, I guess, it would have another API call that just knew to increment if we were at twenty to make it forty or sixty, eighty, and hundred until we got to the very end. And just that in general, like I guess, kept, keeps the app working really fast and efficient. Uh, we don't like we don't have to get all the comments and only run the twenty. I don't have to manage any of that. It just kept everything really fast, and I really enjoyed actually building that architecture. Uh, but yeah, uh, the replies, the actual CSS that went into the component was really interesting. Everything about the component, I guess, was like I, although it is a very simple component. Uh, I think the actual logic that makes it like work fast and efficient, uh, I, I enjoyed a lot. So, yeah, thank you.